All right, guys. Some of you might know about my truck on the internet. This is my 1UZ swapped Tacoma. And if you remember me, I'm, uh, take, I took that out to put this 488 in. And this, is, uh, this video will explain what I used and what I did and how I did it. So here, I'll show you right now. The, this started out as a 2000 Ford Mustang SM95 Ford 88. Um, th it came with a limited slip and 350, was it th 327, that's what it was. Um, rebuilt the rear center section with a 373 that I got from a friend and a nitro gear rebuild kit with a solid spacer and Here's, I'll have all the part numbers listed below, but here is the rebuild kit for the limited slip. It's a, with a Kevlar clutches. And it, not Kevlar, like carbon clutches, I believe, yeah. Um, tip for that, don't stack the steels on top of steels like it says in the instructions. You've got, I think it gives you one extra steel on both sides. Uh, take those out, you want steel clutch steel. And it comes with a upgraded spring. It's kind of a pain to get in, so beware of that. Um, so the thing I did was I narrowed it to match the track width of the factory stuff. So from wheel mount surface to wheel mount first surface, it should be the same. And I measure and I narrowed it by 1.4375 inches on both sides. So cut the end off, weld it back on. Cut the end off, weld it back on by. 1.4375 now just to give y'all a note on on yours if y'all ever do this um, I had someone do it and they messed up one thing these are directional and so these are actually put on backwards so now the caliper rides on the front which is fine because the uh, bleeders are are uh, the highest point still but the only downfall is you won't be able to run a cable to the caliper for your e-brake. So only downfall, um, I'll probably build another one to, and just sell maybe this one, who knows. Anyway, so here is what I have inside of it. Um, since you narrow the axle, you gotta get your axle shafts narrowed. Um, Mosier says they can narrow stock axles, but when I told them how much I needed mine narrowed, they says that's too little. The minimum they can do is four inches, so I had to get new ones made. So I kind of splurged a bit and got some new ones. Um, and then I ran Strange's, Strange C-Clip Eliminators. So I wanted to get rid of the C-Clip, and so I ran these. And if you look right there, there's the part number. The reason why I went with these is these are the only ones I could find that integrated a caliper bracket mount for factory covert brakes um yeah anyway um so the caliper bracket is a ford cobra caliper bracket which is that part number you need that bracket i mean to run the cobra brake caliper because it has a bigger piston diameter than the gt caliper but even more so if you go to the Ford Taurus SHO, it has a slightly bigger piston diameter than the Ford Cobra. So that's what I went with. And, uh, yeah, um, got extended wheel studs. Um, excuse me, I sneezed. So if you're going to go the same direction, um, you probably can get these axle shafts made to press in a... 12 millimeter stud so you can match the front of your Tacoma but I went with the 14 millimeters because then it won't this uh, rotor won't be sloppy on the stud so I went with that so it's a 12 by 1.5 I mean 14 mil by 1.45 these these studs are 14 mil by 1.4 1.5 and I don't have the t part number with me I'll try to find it and put it down in the below um, I'm trying to think anything else. Oh, so these axles have a soft line in between 
uh, the body and the caliper on both sides so it doesn't have a hard line across. So you'll have to get custom lines made. And I ran a little 10 mil, oh geez, ow, get back here. 10 mil to 10 mil banjo fitting to a dash three right here. That's what I did. If you're gonna run a full soft, you're gonna have to run a soft line between here and wherever you're going to because these are floating calipers. Um, you can just run a, a soft line with a 10 mil end, but since my whole axle housing is a soft line, I went to from the 10 mil inverted flare, I believe it is, for the for the Tacoma to a dash three full soft line between the where it drops down from the chassis all the way to the caliper. So everything's soft. It's braided soft, so it shouldn't have an issue. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, um, some of this is not necessary for y'all to do. It's whatever y'all how y'all want. As just some people have asked how I did this stuff. Um, I got a a strange yoke, the uh, chromoly 1350 yoke. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, yeah, so we got. Four Taurus SHO calipers, Ford Mustang Cobra caliper brackets, Strange C-Clip eliminators, Mosier custom axles, 23 spline, because the factory carries 23 spline, 14 mil by 1.5 studs, um, off-the-shelf Mustang rotor, vented rotors, Ford Performance uh, Kevlar clutch pack for the limited slip, Nitro gear rebuild kit for 373 8.8. Uh, strange yoke. And oh, these uh, leaf spring mounts are from Trail Gear. They will raise it about a half an inch than this from the factory. Um, is there a part number on this? There you go. Those are it. Fit the axle tube perfectly. Um, you can cut the ones off your old one and use those, but you see how those are pretty short. These are a little longer, so it might help with axle wrap. And I cut all the uh, tabs off the factory axle for like the brake line, so I'm using those They're all across. So, so yeah, that's how I am putting a Ford 88 in the truck. I am using. The factory, I'm trying to use the factory lease uh, U bolt plates. Factory U bolts are slightly too short with these uh, lease spring perches because they raise the axle about a half inch, so you lose a half inch of thread on there. If you use the original ones, you might be okay. So I got to replace those. I haven't done it yet. I hope that was informative enough. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. Um, yeah, awesome. Talk to you later. Bye.